We are back with some more World Cup games. Currently, the standings are the top 8 and makes it to the playoffs and the top 3 get relegated. I'm playing for India at 8 and 10. So we're trying to avoid relegation and we're also trying to make playoffs. We're in the middle right now. And I'm playing against EO of US South, who is also in the middle. And I'm using a rain team, so here goes nothing. And we're fighting a stall team. Interesting. Alright, so I'm mainly going to be looking at Crawdont to try and break through because it's Life Orb, Swords Dance, Crawdont. And that is really strong, so that's really what I'm going to be looking for. Get some hazards up with Pharaoh, get rain up with Pelipper, go for the Crawdont win. Now, Zapdos probably not going to be doing too much versus Blissey Gastrodon. Even Seismitoad, uh, Mystic Water, not going to be doing an amazing amount of damage versus Blissey, right? We do have Barris Yuda, but even then, it's just going to flip turn onto, for example, Toxapex and do nothing, right? So I'm really going to have to make, make it work with Crawdont. So for example, a Swords Dance knockoff does KO. So this is a winnable matchup, but it's very tricky. I will have to get uh, my Crawdont right. There's nothing to stop the Pelipper lead, right? Uh, Pelipper into Sloking, probably going to throw off a Future Sight. Um, I don't, these don't run Thunderbolt, they don't even get it. I'm thinking of U-turning into Pharaoh. I'm not too scared of Flamethrower because I can... I'm not too scared of Flamethrower because I do have rain support for Pharaoh. Should I Scald for damage? I could Scald for damage, get a Scald burn too. That's an idea I have. So I'm really going to look at Crawdon. I don't want to risk it. I want to get it in and get it in heart, right? So I'm just going to U-turn here. Uh, I could fish for a Scald Burn, but I'd just rather not waste a rain turn. Go to Pharaoh. They do Scald themselves. I will get a... I'll get a knockoff. They have Flamethrower. We do knock off the Assault Vest. Now we can go to Seismitoad. And we can throw a Leech on, for example, like Blissey or something. They'll, he's expecting a switch out. He might Sludge Bomb here. He Scalds into Seismitoad. We get burnt too, unfortunately. We'll go to Pharaoh on uh, Blissey here. Yeah, he predicted that definitely. Well, I mean, duh, right? But now we can Leech, get some health back, and then we can Stealth Rock. We do want the rocks up at some point. Leeched. This could be Shed Shell or it could be Rocky Helmet. I think we always Stealth Rock though. Even if it's Body Press, I don't care about that. We want to get the rocks up. Okay. Back to Seismitoad. Do I leech? He's going to Flamethrower because my Seismitoad is low, right? So we can always Flamethrower. If he's going to Flamethrower, I can also go to Zapdos, maybe. Oh, another Skullburn. Um, Roost off the damage here, okay. Future Sight. I'm not, I'm not too worried about all this extra damage, because the main goal is Crawdon anyway. So probably like a Sludge Bomb here. Let's Thunder, see if we can get a, a Paralysis on something, or we can miss it too. Critical hit too, but not fun. I think I sacrifice Seismitoad now, I go to Crawdon here. And now we are threatening stuff, right? Swords Dance, Knock Off. Do we go for the win right now? Do I go for the win right now? If I knock off, will he stay in on Sloking Galar here? I mean, will he stay into Sludge Bomb? He doesn't necessarily need Sloking Galar right now, so I do think that's a realistic possibility. He stays in. I'm just gonna knock off. Things he doesn't know if I'm Swords Dance or Choice Banded, right? I think knockoff is a play. Right? The problem is if I knock off Toxapex now... The problem is if I knock off Toxapex now, plus two knockoff does not KO because I don't have the attack boost. So do I try and win on the spot? I don't think it's the right decision to win on the spot right now. I could have done it. It's fine though. 59? That was a lot of damage. So 59, it could mean, I, I, and obviously I just throw off another one, right? But 59 could mean that it could be specially defensive, or I just got a high roll. We'll knock off again here, pick something off. 
I could have Swords Dance there, but I don't I don't think the time's right. This could be Unaware plus Able too. Guess we'll find out. This is tricky because I do have to manage Life Orb Recoil too. So later in the game, when it's like Clefable, uh, Clefable and Toxapex, for example, right? They can try pivoting between Knock and Crab Hammer to uh, get damage on me. I have to be careful. Okay, Toxapex gone. That's that's actually amazing. Now there's no switch into Barrascuta. Besides, um, of course, Gastrodon, right? If if it is in fact Water Absorb, which it may or may not be. We get the rain up. We can scald. There we go. We're we're slower too, which is good. 39 burn. We got it. Okay, looking good. Now we U-turn. Do we bother getting Stealth Rock up? That's a burnt Corviknight. I could go Pharaoh Leech. That Gastrodon, if he was willing to sacrifice Toxapex, it must have been it must be Water Absorb Gastrodon. It could be Sticky Hold or Storm Drain. Not Water Absorb, but yeah, you know what I, you know what I mean, right? So do I go to Pharaoh now? I think I do, right? A burnt Toxapex is great for me. I have rain support for that Floking. Ooh, this is tough, right? Stealth Rock is always good. I think I always leech for damage. They could even go Clefable too. No, they won't go Clefable. What am I saying? Okay, leech. We heal back. Do I go to Barris Guda on a flamethrower? I'm gonna do that. There we go. We'll heal back. Now we can ask some questions right now. Now we can start asking questions. I think I'm gonna close combat into the Gastrodon. Okay, let's go. 70. Great. Should I throw off another one or should I make a predict? Should I throw off another one or should I make a predict? I wanna make a predict. Oh god, that was that was awful. I thought I didn't think he would lose the Gastrodon like that. Never punished. Okay. I could have close combated too. I was thinking like, you know, what if? Hmm. So I'm gonna pick something right now. Something's gonna die. Probably Corviknight, right? The thing is, I need rain to one-hit KO Clefable. So whatever he does, even if I Swords Dance, doesn't matter because Clefable will always be there to live exactly one hit. Yeah, I, I had a feeling he might stay in, but I didn't wanna. That's fine. We have a knockoff coming in. The thing is. Six, uh, five Pokemon, and we have four attacks left, right? So I should maximize it then. I should Swords Dance. No, but I can never one-hit KO Clefable, right? He's never going to lose Gastrodon here, so I can always Swords Dance. He's never going to lose Gastrodon. I doubt he goes Clefable too. Will he? The, the reason I want to Swords Dance is because I'm predicting Corviknight, right? I'm predicting Corviknight. So I don't want to waste like two turns to knock out the Corviknight. I want to knock it out in one hit. There's no way he loses Gastrodon because of Barrascuta. He got one predict right. I don't think you make a predict here. It ha No, what if it's not Unaware Clef? It, ha it has to be Unaware Clef, right? Yeah, he would go to Corviknight. Knock off KOs, there we go. Okay, and by using Swords Dance, now Clefable's gonna come in, but I don't care about Clefable, right? Right, so we we saved one turn of Life Orb Recoil. 
We saved one turn of life orb recoil. He's taking some time to think he should always go Clefable first, right? Because he can live one hit? That has to be unaware Clefable, right? But even if it is unaware Clefable, it would be max physical defense, right? Because Blissey has high special defense, he would never waste EVs. But he's taking a lot of time to think, right? He should have just immediately gone Clefable. He does go Clefable, okay. Oh god, okay. What is the Clefable doing? It must it must have aromatherapy aromatherapy, soft boiled moon blast, and then what? Right? Then what, right? Huh. That Gastrodon's gonna be annoying too. Blissey is a sack at some point as well. Do we go Pelipper or Pharaoh? Right? We want those we want those rain boosted crab hammers coming in. Hmm. Hmm. 90 seconds, we have time, right? So Pelipper is not urgent. I can get Pelipper in any time I want and then Zapdos. What is urgent is Stealth Rock? Yeah, Moonblast, okay. Now we can get Stealth Rock up, that's the urgent part of it. Then we can go Pelipper on Sloking, and then sacrifice Zapdos. Crawdont is immune to Future Sight. We can start hitting again with the rain support. That Stealth Rock is something I want though. Definitely on a work Clefable. But we took too much damage on Crawdont. Too much damage on Crawdon. Was it a misplay? I made a predict. He made a predict. Didn't work out, but... Now we have to really play with life or recoil. He goes to Blissey, which is understandable, right? Because I... Is it understandable? Can't I body press for damage? Oh, he wants Stealth Rock. Oh, I can't, I can't deal with Stealth Rock. Should I go to Crawdon now? He's gonna get Stealth Rock up, which is really annoying for Crawdon. Okay, that's that's a problem. Okay. Yeah, Stealth Rock will go up. 53. We can knock off two. 29. Rain goes up, now we can U-turn into the Zapto Sacrifice, right? Yeah. Yeah, we can U-turn into the Zapto Sacrifice, okay. And now everything is in one hit KO range, so Crawdon has about two hits left in him. We'll be able to get two KOs now. Yeah, we U-turn always into the Zapto Sacrifice here. Okay. Now the Gastrodon has Protect, right? The Gastrodon has Protect, so close combat Ban won't help me. I have to go to Crawdon. Okay. Now, I have... I have three hits left in me. I think he's gonna go Clefable. He's going to... I'm gonna Crab Hammer always. I'm gonna Crab Hammer always. He's gonna go Clefable here. He wants to stall out the turns. I have three hits left. Three hits, four Pokemon. If I get three of them down, Barrasuda wins. I always crab hammer. Always. There we go. Clefable knock that out. No! Okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, right? So there's one more prediction coming up with Gastrodon. 
Okay, he's wasting more time. I... It's a predict. Like, right now it's a predict. But... He's never- he's never going to lose- he's never going to lose Gastrodon. He's always going to sacrifice Blissey here. He's never- he's never going to lose Gastrodon. No, 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 what if he does lose Gastrodon? Right? Because Clefable is taking Stealth Rock damage because it's unaware. So that even without rain, it's in range, right? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. He has to sacrifice Blissey here. I don't see any other path. Oh, he's doing it. Hit that. There we go. Okay. We have two hits left, three Pokemon. All of them died to knockoff. All of them died to knockoff. Okay. Right? All of them died to knockoff. And we should win. We should win. Because we are going to claim two kills, and whatever comes in after that bears you to Blissey gone. Don't care, right? 1 HP. 2 HP, rather. Same thing. And nothing switches into knockoff? Nothing switches into knockoff? Sloking? Yeah, none of, all of them die, right? All of them die. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Ferris Huda comes in. This is Assault Fest. No recovery. We flip turn. We win. Flip turn. Goodbye, Zapdos. Ferris Huda again. And we win. Oh god, this was a great game. So, we're fighting relegation and we move up to 9 and 10 now. So we're pretty comfortably out of relegation, I would hope. And now we're looking at the playoffs. So top 8 makes playoffs. Typically 13 and 11 makes playoffs. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and hope it was hope you had as much fun as I did.